Hi, I'm Austri Bjornley, and I am a teacher at the Otter Preschool here in Fergus Falls. And today I'm going to be reading a book called Pete the Cat and the Missing Cupcakes. Pete and Gus were busy as could be. They were getting ready for the cupcake party. It started at three. They were making cupcakes for everyone. Pete and Gus counted them just for fun. They had ten when they were done. Should we see if we can count ten as well? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten cupcakes there. Oh no, hang on! Some of the cupcakes were gone! They were sure they had been ten. Pete said, maybe we need to count again. They counted the cupcakes, lined up straight. Now there were only eight. It looked like someone had taken two, but who? Pete and Gus did not know what to do. There's only eight cupcakes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then they found a clue. Gus said, look what I have found. Sprinkles on the ground. I bet it was a squirrel. She loves sprinkles. Squirrel said, it wasn't me. It couldn't be. I've been at the spelling bee. <gasps> Uh-oh, more cupcakes are missing. Come and see. <gasps> this was too weird. Two more cupcakes had disappeared. Now there were only six. But who? Pete and Gus did not know what to do. One, two, three, four, five, six, just like they said. Then they found another clue. Do you see the tracks? What animal do you think could have made those tracks? Pete said, I bet it was Alligator. He loves to eat. Alligator said, it wasn't me. It couldn't be. I've been learning my ABCs. Uh-oh, more cupcakes are missing. Come and see. Now there were only four. Someone had taken two more, but who? One, two, three, four, four cupcakes. Pete and Gus did not know what to do. Just then they found another clue. I bet it was Turtle, said Pete. I know Turtle loves sweets. Do you think it's Turtle? Turtle said, it wasn't me. It couldn't be. I've been sw swimming in the sea. <gasps> Uh-oh, more cupcakes are missing. Come and see. Look at this picture. Do you see some animal taking some cupcakes? Who do you think it is? What on earth? What's going on? All the cupcakes were gone. Oh no, no more cupcakes. Pete and Gus did not know what to do. They started looking for another clue. Look at the trail and the wrappers and the sprinkles. Where is it leading? Do you see the tree? They found Grumpy Toad with icing on his face. Pete and Gus have solved the case. I am so sorry it was me. I could not stop with just one. I ate and ate till there were none. Look at Grumpy Toad. Everyone agreed Grumpy Toad would have to miss the fun. He couldn't come after what he had done. Pete said, but wait. Grumpy Toad did make a mistake. It is true. Let's give him a second chance. That is what friends do. Pete told Grumpy Toad they would give him another chance. 
He was so excited. He did a happy dance. Look at him. He's so happy. The night of the party was so much fun. Grumpy Toad brought more than enough cupcakes for everyone. Look at all the cupcakes he brought to share with his friends after he had eaten all of them. That was a kind thing to do, don't you think? This says Pete the Cat's Cupcake Party. That was a fun book. Maybe this week you can make cupcakes with your family. Or you can do something else to make people feel happy. I hope that you've enjoyed this book. See you again.